Good morning, folks. We've got a ton of stories to hit today. Weather, science fraud, Nova, and cosmic rays, but also a solar eruption you can see there. Let's go to the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find a mostly quiet day except for that one burst you saw already, which happened just a few hours ago early this morning. The eruption did not leave the corona, although it did present a strong plasma motion taking a mostly northward pathway. Flare itself was of high C-class range, still short of M-class, and we'll have to continue monitoring today because the Sunspot Group is regaining its positive umbra in position to interact magnetically. Lead Group is still the one to watch. Negative core is distending, but the positive spots are managing to stick around to the north as of this morning. Let's go back two days and see the coronal hole departing on the south. We said this would be weak, but would definitely affect geospace conditions, and this morning, we're seeing the coronal hole signature of small density shock waves in yellow up top, followed by the ramp up in speed, purple in the middle. But its intensification didn't even crack 400 kilometers per second, and so the geomagnetic effects are thus far minimal at best. We need to peek in on the United States, because the photos are telling not only a story of what happened, but what's coming the next few nights. The system is a powerful multi-node low drawing in warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and slamming it into cold, dry air from the north. This interaction is causing extra intensity to the storms firing up along the line, and that's what's due tonight and through the weekend. You can see how even as the next days play out, the severe threat really refuses to leave that south-central region. Eyes open, it is here now. Let's look back to last month. The full U.S. April climate report is out, and this is the mean temperatures. Mix of above and below average with the maximum temperatures showing even less heat, actually. But really, I want to pull up the 2019 year so far, January through April, to show that it has been a chilly beginning for everyone except the southeast. Up next, we're going to earthquake science and the worst of the worst kind. The worst kind would be deadly earthquakes, but the worst of the worst there is fraud. Combined, they make for an unfathomably disappointing and immoral usage of people's lives and the scientific process for personal gain on the part of the scientists. After Fukushima in 2011, so much money was poured into the field in Japan, guess researchers just got greedy. Up next, let's do NOVA, perhaps the first NOVA. At hypernova energies in excess of 10 to the 50 ergs, this non-spherical polar burst might have been what was required to quickly seed the cosmos with the heavier elements, which they say are the tiny green dots in the middle of the column, more easily produced in this type of blast versus a spherical shell release. Folks, the world's next level cosmic ray air shower observatory has come online. The Chinese station is going to be able to notice the finest detail ever on these cascades and how they affect the atmosphere and what the flux of them is from space. There is a monster 180 page white paper that goes with the release. And on page 130, we also find something interesting that everyone should have in their heads once they've understood the endless spiral, solar wind, and the sun's rotation. See, the solar wind does not take linear paths or follow the mean field. The real situation is a bit more chaotic. Last but not least, we are staying with cosmic rays and going to the anomalous Anita events that appear to be coming up out of Antarctica from inside the Earth. Well, we know that an ice boundary is cosmic ray reflective to some degree, and that would go for the underside as well as the top side. They're beginning to believe that those anomalous events were indeed mere bounce backs off the underside in Antarctica, and that would be interesting and probably the most logical explanation we've heard. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got eyes on those sunspots today. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.